Yes, sir, man. So the voice is getting a lot better, y'all. The voice is getting a lot better. We just did a 7.1 mile run today. So, you know, the immune system is kicking back in, the body functioning, the health is still at its, you know, it can still, it can, it can, it can get a little bit better. I'll say that, it can, it can improve. But, you know, I had to just stop and give me a little something to eat just to feel right. Yeah, like I said, the voice is coming back. So, <sighs> yo, this this whole not talking and and then being backed up and being all snotty and shit, this shit ain't, no, bro. This ain't no way to live. You can't even live your life. You can't do nothing. You over here sneezing, talking about <laughs> like a, a chew type stuff. You can't, you can't do nothing. None of that is... None of that is beneficial, bro. Nobody likes being sick, so this is just a form of being, in my in my case, sick. And I'm just now recovering, so bear with me. I can't wait till we are fully recovered, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Shout out to the Saibo. Shout out to uh, Utaba, Ubop, whatever the name is. Ubataba or whatever the name is. You know what it is. So, we just finished up with a little home workout. Man, my back is lit. Let me tell you. I'm a, I gotta show you a clip because sheesh. But anyways, that was a great feeling. And I'm prepping for a move in May. So I'm moving to Florida. All you people that live in Florida, you know what it is. Let's link up. Let's get, let's get one in. Let's get some work in. Yeah. Well, anyways, my voice is coming back. Like I, I continue to say, it's coming back. Let me, let me just uh, get the um. Don't mind my ashy lips or nothing like that. How I look is just how I look. Don't mind me. I look crazy, but it's okay. Top of the day, top of the day. But like I said, we moving, we prepping for a move in a couple, and really, in the next couple weeks. So all I have to do in here is prep my room, prep my kitchen stuff. I'll give you guys more of the backstory, but. I got family out there that I'm about to relocate with in the meantime, and then, you know, do my little apartment hunting, search around, see where I'm, you know, where I'm meant to be, you know what I mean, in Florida. I don't know too much about it, but just going there to visit the other week was exactly what I needed to get a more, uh, more of an idea of like where, where I'm going to be at and like getting a clear sense of like, okay, like this is my new stomping grounds, so let's make the most of it. And let me see where I can navigate and really, you know, thrive in. I think I thrive more in tropical places. So anywhere where there's sun, there's water, there's people, there's community, there's good food, there's good vibes. You, can, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's like my, my area, my area of of focus, my locus of control that people call or whatever they call it. I don't know, but yeah, back is lit. Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to show you all of that, but I'm just saying like, yo, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. So tap into the link in my bio, not in my bio, in the link below of this video. And you know, if you want to get right for not even this year just for your years to come longevity this isn't just no one-time session i want to set you up for a lifetime of you know really warranty warranty over your life where okay you have the knowledge you have the know-how and you know what to do moving forward and you're not going to necessarily need me i'm just a, a byproduct of your evolution and i just want to help assist you and get you to where you need to be physically, mentally, spiritually. And if I'm the person to help you do that, hey man, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be there to support, uphold you and make it happen. So wholesome fit, wholesome fitness. You know what it is. Let's get right this year. Let's get right for the rest of our life. Cause that's what it's about. So back is lit. Look, oh my gosh, look. I don't even mean to brag, but yo. Feel like a super a superhero, bro. When we was doing the lower back, the lower body split. Oh man! Shout out to Chris here, cause I'm I'm learning how to do the front. What's it called? The front lever. 
Let's see if I can put this up. Not the front lever, it's, it's the planch. This shit hard, I ain't gonna lie. But you need, what you really need is, you need like your, your lower back to be strong to be able to even uphold your whole body frame up. So you need this in order to be strong. So there's different workouts that um, I'm strengthening to, you know, keep these firm, keep these strong. And it's a process, bro. It don't just happen like that, but <laughs> I'll show you where I'm at. I'm not, I'm on like level one still. <sighs> and then lean as forward as possible and then have your, your feet come up. That's the main thing. So from this angle, I'll show you. Have your arms, your shoulders, your forearms straight as possible. Lean forward. And here's like a little regression of it. You want to have like your... It's, it's difficult, bro. You got to have you gotta have that superhero strength. And it's coming. Just give me some time. Ow, bro. <laughs> that stuff is... Yo, you see, you've seen where I'm at right now. Just wait till I get to that point. It's going to be... It's gonna be a beautiful thing. <laughs> Let me see it. Start your day with some water. We got a good five mile stretch for this morning's preparation. Run. 640, 6.40 o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning. Bear with me, bear with me. not waste too much time. One of my favorite things about <coughs> waking up first thing in the morning early in the morning early enough to have some space to think and to really not feel like you gotta rush as you see the day's already going but it's slow motion you get a good slow motion out here when you wake up early you get to operate on your own time and you're not forced to rush i wake up at least like an hour or two before i gotta go to work so this peach has been trained you see what it is. I'm getting this good leg workout in. Yeah, crucial. Don't don't skip out on leg day. You want to make sure your your legs you have a good base. You don't want to be all chunky up here and then puny down here. That's out. So every day throughout the week is a different workout. We either do full body, we either run, we either focus on one muscle group at a time. Like today it was legs, right? Tomorrow is a full body workout. And I like to pair it up, or at least every other day I like to run. So after this, I'm gonna see about getting a little five mile running it's early i still got time to do that so i just want to share with you guys my little splits my little workouts and whatnot and i think this is a important topic here as far as like how i even managed to stay driven motivated whatever you want to call it for me it's just about okay if you have to go to work you don't have to think about damn i gotta go to work it's on your schedule so for me, I create a schedule for myself that I have to stick to. And whenever I don't do the things that are on my schedule, I have to I have to live through that. I have to be able to look at that and be like, damn, where did I fail today? So it's not so much about me, you know, having this drive every day, because not every day I feel like doing this. Today, this morning, woke up a little bit later than I should have 
and you know it was just so easy for me to just be like man i'm gonna just stay in the bed but that's not on the schedule my schedule isn't for me to sleep in and do the things that you know i want to do all the time it don't work like that especially during the week during the week you want to be able to max out as much from yourself as possible the potential because these are the days that really count the weekend everybody like to let loose and you know you get caught up in that and you're just you're you're dispersed you're all in the mix of it so it's like it just doesn't seem like it's it's a that much of an effect on you because everybody around you every, hey, they're doing it too it don't matter what everybody else is doing what matters is what you're doing how are you putting yourself ahead of the game because i made a post on on instagram about like the things that you do right now can either set you up for the next five years or set you back for the next five years so what you're doing right now you want to make sure that it's in full alignment with the person the life the experiences that you want to have in life they're all setting you up for what you're going through right now so make sure the things that you're doing right now are going to set you up for that grand scheme of things you know you don't want to be two three four five years down the line and be like damn I ain't achieved nothing over the last couple of years. One, because you didn't, you weren't able to, you weren't able to retain a certain amount of focus. And that's my whole thing right here, where it's just like focus. My whole thing is just staying healthy, staying functional, staying at my, at my greatest potential, especially physically, because I never wanted that dad body or nothing like that. That wasn't in my makeup. And I seen how you know, when you get to like 18 to 21, you start slipping up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna be young forever, eating Oreos and stuff like that. <laughs> now, I'm not against Oreos, I like Oreos. But you look up and you become a double stuff. That's not what we want over here. You wanna turn that double stuff into a good size. <laughs> you wanna turn it into a muscle. You wanna, you wanna, I'm not telling you to be no Hulk, no muscle head type dude or none of that. I'm just saying get in shape make sure that you know you set yourself up for the long term so how you manage how you do anything is how you do everything and you can you can argue against it if you want but it's the little things that count you waking up not making your bed you not brushing your teeth you you know not taking care of yourself your old your odor is is messed up none of that is essential you don't nobody want to be around you at that point and you want to make sure you're surrounding yourself with people that you aspire to be like don't listen to people that are you know don't listen to you're you're in you're in a relationship don't listen to your single friend about you know taking their advice oh what should i do don't listen to them don't listen to anybody that's not in your position or who you aspire to be like because it's a waste of time and you're you know, it's, it's, it's clogging up a lot of rent. They're living rent free. So now all you hear is that voice in your head. So you want to be able to filter out the noise, filter out the noise. That's the main thing. So we just ended up with a workout. I'm about to get a run in and let's get it. So you might look at me and be like, yo, you doing too much working out every day running what you think you in the olympics nah it's not about that it's really not about that like i mentioned earlier it's more so about doing the little things and making them count down the line what you do right now is gonna matter it's gonna be a domino effect so all I'm doing is everything that I can to set myself up for the future me. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing new under the sun. It is what it is. It is what it is.